You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Here is a complete video of a maker set from start to finish. If you want to skip ahead to specific points in the video, then check the description below for skip times. Enjoy! Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for the Jumbo Gingerbread Man Kit. It comes with everything needed inside the kit. We picked this up at World Market, and it was on Markdown already. It comes with the Gingerbread Man, the icing, and the candies, and then you just decorate them, so... That's something I can do. There it is. Uh, it looks like uh, they give you a couple ideas here to decorate. Different than what you saw in the front. Now, the front they show this nice scarf and design. So, well, let's get in here and see what it's all about. So, we'll just cut this now. And open it up. I'm hoping my gingerbread man is intact. And of course, they also show you the gingerbread lady, because it looks like there's an apron on her. Wow, oh, that's amazing that it does not crack with no protection or cardboard backing. And then there's the frosting and the candies. Now the candies, color-wise, let me show you. A little bit different than what you see on the box. Now the camera's picking up real good here, but they look kind of dull. But still... Use your own, I guess. So the icing now is pretty hard. So it looks like it's its own unique piping bag. So I cut this tip off. Oh, I got some icing on my finger. Where'd that come from? Was it leaking? Mm, I don't think so. Maybe the last gingerbread video, huh? Let's get this going here. Okay, so that's starting to soften up. Let's open this. Hmm. Let's not open this. Let's try to cut this open. There we go. Look at that. Now, as far as gingerbreads go, it's very soft feeling. It's light. I think I thought this would be almost uh, like three pounds of gingerbread, man. And then let's get a bowl here for our candies, right here. And then let's cut those, uh, let's get those in the bag, I mean in the bowl, out of the bag. Wow, I'm fumbling my words today. You know, some days that happens, I guess. They sure don't give you a ton of them, but we'll make do with what we have. Now, I might just follow what they have, but then I might uh, go a little awry here, so we'll see. So I'm just uh, taking their frosting, and I'm still just working it and trying to, you know, get it out of all the corners and mush it up. And so Let's push it now. Let's get it all out of the corners and push it up towards the tip. Getting there. There we go. Now I can work that a little bit more and get more of that out of there. So it's looking pretty good. Now we're talking. Now there's air in here, so it's having a hard time pushing all the way down because the way this is or there's not enough uh, it's so tightly sealed so I might have to cut the end off here let me cut the end right here that might help release the pressure there you go let me use the back of my my handle here just trying to get it ready so that as much of the frosting is at the end of the bag. Okay, I think we're good now. Nice. So decorating. Well, let's just start. Let's start with a face, right? So we can get the eyes and get that all positioned. So let's see. We want to put an eye right. Oh, he dripped out. Too thin. So we will make him uh, scoop off that that third eyeball. Oh, look at how crooked that is. 
Let's move that eye there, that eye there. Okay, so he is now bug eye. So I have a bug eye, uh... Yeah, look how thin this is. Now, it felt really hard and uh, not too mushy in the bag. And I didn't work it that long. I think it's just the stuff that was near the tip is uh, wetter than the rest. So let me squeeze some of that out. There we go. That's a little better. So a mouth. Well, we'll put some little brown ones on the corners of his mouth. I'm just going to run with it at this point. That is the strangest looking gingerbread man I've ever seen. <laughs> eh, well, whatever. We're going to give him some... See how it's coming out better now? Some wiggy hair. How's that for a hairstyle, huh? Look at that. Check that out. I'm just going to finish his smile with candies. I think it's one way to make it uh, recover from my frosting fail. But if you buy this kit, now you know. Be careful with the frosting. So he's got uh, three buttons. See, now it's coming out great. When I was uh, actually doing it the first time, I was looking at the box and not paying attention to the stuff coming out. Alright. So they have little ones on each hand. We'll do green ones there. Do, 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 do. It's just about having fun. I keep saying that. Some people are very critical of what you do. They lose the fact that, uh, hey, it doesn't matter. Just have fun. All right. I think that's starting to take shape, actually. I don't think it's too bad. Now, they have a scarf going on him and then outline the whole outside. I'm not sure I'm skilled enough to do that, but we'll give it a try. Let's, uh... Well, let's give him some shorts. I think I want to give him some shorts. I'm going to make pants on him. Okay, so he's got pants now. All right. And then we'll just uh, make a line down here and make like he's got boxer shorts on. How's that? I want my gingerbread man to have boxers. Okay, so there he is, and I think I want him to have a bow tie. Yeah, I'm going to make him a bow tie, not a scarf. Just pushing down my materials now. So we will start right about here. I'll see that a little closer, see my master crafting here there you go there's his bow tie what do you think what do you think about that that is my gingerbread man with funky hair in uh, strange mouth in boxer shorts. Hmm. I got some more here, so let me just uh, decorate his shorts a little bit more like that's a pattern. I'm going off the radar here and using up the rest of my chocolate. Watch. See? Doo -doo -doo -doo. I used up every single chocolate, and I'm short one. There. I did it. I got through it. Even with the little frosting issue, I think it still looks okay. I'm going to go with that. In uh, 
let's uh, just have fun, all right? That's all I was doing, having fun, trying the kit, showing you what it's like. And if you get a chance, you know, maybe uh, I'm not going to eat him. I think I'm going to keep him and display him. And uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. Check that description because we got all kinds of cool Christmas and holiday stuff this year. Or just search our channel. And there is the giant gingerbread man kit from Lucky Penny Shop. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.